Let me show you a 7.3 feature that can be really helpful with many aspects of music creation. It's called Dynamic Transport and it's one of my favorite features. So here's my session. It's a fairly large session and I want to add some electric piano on this track in the verse using Velvet. So I'll turn on Dynamic Transport from the Options menu and you'll notice that the timeline gets wider. And I can toggle the Dynamic Transport on and off using Control command p or Control alt p on the PC. Then I'm going to call up my keyboard tracks using my memory locations. Now you can use the Dynamic Transport to cycle or loop around a section of your song, for example, to do some editing on the fly. When the transport reaches bar 10, it will cycle back to 6. Now I can grab that 4 bar selection directly in the timeline and move it to a different part of the song for immediate playback. The first to love. Now what's nice is the dynamic transport has a separate play start marker that I can move to a different location, say bar 17. and then it still cycles around. Now this is useful because I can use the play start marker as a two bar or one bar pre-roll to the four bar cycle. Nice. Let's lay down some piano. The first to love, the last to cry. I wonder why. After recording, Pro Tools cycles back perfectly, and I can grab the timeline and move it to the next four bars, and this time I'll do a two bar pre-roll with the play start marker. I'll mute the vocal this time, here we go. This time on the cycle, I'll drop out a record and toggle edit in to remove the last chord. So I've got a nice pause into the chorus. Now you can manually move the start and end markers by simply picking them up and moving them in any direction along the timeline. But when you turn dynamic transport on, the link timeline to selection function is disabled. In essence, giving us two possible playback zones. Using the left bracket, I can audition the edit selection and then play the timeline selection with the enter key. Play the new selection and then the timeline. Now I can continue editing. I'll trim an alt or option drag to make a copy, position the insertion point and split and copy it the same way. Now, if we go ahead and link the timeline to selection, the dynamic transport will follow each time a new selection is made in the edit window. In the next video, we'll take a look at the dynamic transport in conjunction with the new looping features of 7.3.